11 plants that are fun to grow outdoors. Some gardeners say they object to the smell of Crown Imperial Fritillaria Imperialis. But this objection is puzzling. Many gardeners are more than willing to hold their noses as they lap up the dazzling color of this entertaining spring bulb plant. Northern or purple pitcher plant, Saracenia purpurea subspe, purpurea, is a fascinating specimen to grow in a mini pond. It's one of the best plants to grow in small water gardens because it packs a ton of fun into a small frame. Despite its name, which alludes to the pitcher-shaped leaf structures it produces, it is for its flowers that it is included in the present list. Doll's Eyes Actea pachypoda is also known as white baneberry to distinguish it from red baneberry Actea rubra. The latter is also a nice native plant for shade gardens, but it lacks the novelty Actea pachypoda has due its namesake doll's eyes, which are white berries with black dots that look like pupils. You can dry Chinese lantern plant pods and use them in crafts, for instance, insert them in fall wreaths for instant color. Such a whimsical wonder doesn't make the top 11 list because these are invasive plants in North America. Grow them in containers to restrict their spread. Alliums are better known than some of the other entries on this list. Their secret is out, the alliums with big flower heads are fun plants to grow. Ambassador is an example. Another is Allium schuberti, which looks ever so much like fireworks shooting off. Even the dried seed heads of these bulb plants are cool. Snake lily, Amorphophallus conjac, is the one plant native to the tropics that made the 10 list. It was just too much fun to grow to pass up. In fact, it puts on not one, but two can't miss shows annually. An unusual plant native to New England is mayapple. It is not nearly as bizarre as snake lily, but apparently others have also noticed its odd qualities, because an alternate common name for it is, American mandrake. That name echoes, European mandrake, a peculiar plant whose freaky roots sometimes take on a human form. Bleeding hearts, especially the classic type Decentrospectabilis, are a fun plant to grow because of their unusually shaped flowers. They are well suited to gardeners who are admirers of the whimsical. Another selling point for them is that they bloom for a reasonably long time, so you do not have to worry about missing the show due to your absence from the yard for a few days, as with Mayapple. The only vine on the list, what makes Arctic Beauty Kiwi special is the transformation of its foliage in spring from something ordinary to something so extraordinary that you will have neighbors stopping by to ask, is that color real? Secret Lust is a cultivar of Echinacea. It undergoes a color transformation of its own, but here, unlike with kiwi vine, it is the flower color that transforms, and the change takes place in summer. This perennial is a fun plant to grow not only to observe the color change from orange to pink, but also to admire its wacky hairdo. Italian Buglos Anchusa azurea is another perennial with an evolving flower color. Pink and blue coloration can appear on the flowers at the same time. Other plants are bicolored in this way, for example, Pulmonaria and Virginia bluebells, but Italian Buglos puts on a better show because it is a taller plant, one of the tallest perennials. Like snake lily, Jack in the pulpit Arisema trophylum, is in the Arum family and bears a spathe and spadix in spring. But this is a much smaller plant than its stinky Arum relative. Moreover, it's not tropical, being native to eastern North America. It also offers something that snake lily does not, bright red berries. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.